Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is a little bit different of a video. I'm going to be updating my kids bathroom. So that's what you see behind me is the shower curtain. So I, uh, we're home right now. Everybody's home right now. So we've been trying to work on some projects in the house and I have wanted to update this bathroom for a long time. The walls are really pretty tan. However, we kind of strayed away from the tan. The tan is kind of out. So um, I bought the same color as the rest of my house. So that it just kind of ties in and the color is wheat bread by bear it's a pretty grayish and so that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm not gonna be changing out the shower curtain because I love the shower curtain it's from Kohl's if you're interested um, it's been quite some time but it's just pretty rainbow which I really really like I like to keep it bright in here but um, just gonna paint the walls and probably do some refreshing of the door and the trim it all needs to be updated and then this artwork behind me is going to be updated as well so if you like these types of videos then stay tuned let's get this bathroom updated I'm also going to be painting these um, cabinets so right now they're like this pretty oak this is the color that they came as this is builder grade but I'm gonna paint it white so That'll also be something that I do to this fun uh, makeover, so. I get so caught up in the middle, thinking of drowning. Okay, let's go ahead and get right into this bathroom makeover. I got started by cleaning the bathroom first, of course. This is a kid's bathroom, so keep that in mind. I put on my gloves. I'm using a, the Clorox bathroom foamer cleaner. I really like this cleaner. I always clean the bathroom with paper towels, especially the toilet, and I make sure I throw all that stuff away. So I just got started with that first. It really wasn't too bad, but I wanted to get the bathroom clean before I actually started renovating it. Also, if you're new here, I just want to say thank you for tuning into this video. My name is Tiffany, and I'm a mom of five, one girl and four boys. So I try to keep this bathroom somewhat neutral. However, my daughter's the one that uses it the most. My boys all shower and get ready in my room. But I did just want to say thank you. I'm glad you're here. Make sure you subscribe. If you aren't already, I'd love to have you come back for more. And I hope that you enjoy this video. Okay, here we go, time to get into the good stuff. Now this bathroom is painted this taupey color because that was really in when we bought our house 12 years ago, but I really wanted to brighten the space. It's a small yet big bathroom if that makes any sense. So I use the same color that the rest of my house is and that is Wheat Bread by Bear. And it's a beautiful grayish. 
definitely lends itself more to a gray than a tan or a beige, but you can see the difference in this picture. But I love this color. My entire house is this color, except for some of the kids' bedrooms, and it just looked really great in this bedroom. Now, I don't tape anything off when I paint. I just use an angled paintbrush, and I go really carefully across the baseboards and the trim. I knew I was going to be painting everything so I could clean up any mess that I made, but taping just takes forever, and I just find this to be so much easier. So just get a really good angled brush and keep your hand really steady, and you'll be okay. Another really important tip is to buy paint that already has primer in it. That way you're doing the work once instead of twice. I did have to go back and touch up a couple areas that needed it, but honestly using paint with a primer just allows for you to work smarter, not harder. Like a cargo, you will carry me. I just hope you know my depth, even though it makes no sense. Sometimes I'm broken, too much of emotion. Sometimes I'm the lightning, you wanna pick a fight with. going to give you a little bit of an update on where I'm at. Um, this has been quite a process. Clean, uh, you see I have all this stuff from under the sink down there. Danny is here. He was just helping me paint up by the light, which you can't see, but um, now he's going to take the blind off for me so that I can paint inside the window. But <clears throat> this is a pretty small bathroom. Okay, so just checking in real quick. I'm a mess. Uh, you might have seen me place my palm on the wall, which is how that happened. But Danny is in here helping me. He's taking down <clears throat> the blinds for me right now so that I can paint inside the windowsill. He just helped me paint like up by the light, which I think I'm going to spray paint um, black. It's silver right now, but I just think it'll look better black. We're gonna frame out the window. I mean the, not not the window, the mirror. the mirror. I would show you this little boy down here beside me, but he's in his underwear, so I can't. But let me show you the progress that I've made. It's still patchy because it's drying, but I'm gonna show you how good it looks already. Okay, so lighting is not the best because the sun is on the other side, but here's what it looks like. It looks so much better, I can't even tell you. 
You probably don't remember what the color was before, but it was really bad. <laughs> it was really bad. So it looks kind of patchy because, you know, like I just put a second coat all over there and over there. And so Danny just painted all up there for me. And, um, but it is coming along. So I now just have to do this inside trim of the window. So it's not like I have to do all that and that and everything. So, but it is coming along. And then I was going to paint this cabinet. Oh, Ryan brought me a flower. I was going to paint this cabinet um, white, but what I think I might do, I think I might stain it. That's the original wood. Um, it has a gloss finish, so I would need to just sand it all down, but I think I might stain it that pretty dark walnut that I did the bench. I just think it'd be really pretty and warm up the space and then we'll frame out the mirror and then I want to paint that silver. Let me see if I turn off the light. That silver frame. <clears throat> so, or that silver uh, light. So we'll see, he, we just painted all that up there. So, but here's a better look at the color, I suppose. There you go. Now, all of this that you see up here, I'm not worried about it because what I'm gonna do when all this dries is I'm gonna paint on the gray part of the wall and then I'm going to paint the entire ceiling just because it needs a refresh. We've been in this house for almost 12 years. Hold on, bud. So I'll be painting all of that. But the other thing is while I have the blinds down, I'm actually going to wash them here in the tub. This is the easiest way to get your blinds clean is to take them off and wash them in your tub and then let them dry. So that's what I'm going to do while they're down because they're really, really, really dirty. So Take care of that too. It was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. You struck me like lightning. You broke my chains and released me. Turn into nights on the couch in your apartment No, I am not the same Everything has changed Every day, 24-7 You call my name And I will come running Yeah, every day, 24-7 Yeah, every day, I will come running Hello again, my friends. Same outfit, different day. <laughs> um, these are just my painting clothes, so you're gonna see me in these clothes, but um, it is now Saturday, day two of this bathroom renovation. I've got big plans for today. I'm starting the day by paint, uh, taping off all of the gray that I just painted on because I'm going to paint the ceiling. I did get a bunch of gray up there, but I knew that I was gonna be painting the ceiling because I just wanted to refresh this entire bathroom. Um, so I will be painting up there. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm taping everything off. Um, and then I'm gonna paint that, and then I'm going to be working on the cabinets and getting the artwork back up. I did just put the blinds back up. You saw me in the last clip. Um, washing them in the tub that is honestly the easiest way to get your blinds like super clean so if you've never done that before i highly recommend it mine are super easy they just clip in and clip out put them down in there wash them out done and done um, and they're back up so that's what i'm working on today i'm going to be working on this cabinet like i said and just um doing the ceiling and all of the trim um, I have my AirPods in. I am, these are from Studio. These are the Studio Tolv um, wireless headphones. They're not AirPods. I call them AirPods, but they're not. And that's what I'm gonna be doing. So, and then I'm gonna get the artwork hung back up. And 
I did just wash the shower curtain, so I'm not gonna be doing that again. I do have to re-clean the tub because after cleaning those blinds in there, it's disgusting now, so I gotta redo that. And I need to paint the baseboards. And then Danny and I are also going to frame out the mirror as I talked to you about yesterday, and I want to spray paint the light fixture as well. So, cause it's silver right now and I'd like it to be black, but that's what we're doing. A lot of stuff. Here we go. <laughs> Wait up, ain't got no time for that. I've stayed up, I was hoping that you would change your ways. Wake up, you blew your final chance. Make up, I'm trying, but I cannot be mad at you. If you feel like your bathroom needs a freshening up, I highly, highly, highly recommend painting your trim and re everything. I swear to you, this just brightened the bathroom. It made everything that was supposed to be white, white again. And as you can see, the caulking just kind of gets loose and broken up and it needs to be replaced after some time. So don't be afraid, get your angled brush, get in there and paint the baseboards, Caulking is super easy. I'm gonna show you how to do it here in just a second. And it just makes a huge difference, I promise. Okay, so it's been a little over an hour that I've been at it, but I wanna go ahead and show you what I've um, gotten done. This looks like a brand new bathroom, I have to tell you, and I'm not even done. So I, you see all of this stuff from under the sink is over there. But I painted the door, front and back, and then I repainted the trim, and the trim around like the door frame. It's a mess out there, don't even. And the boys made a fort. That's their bunk bed. But anyway, we're beside that. And then I painted all of that trim. And then all of that trim. So, yeah, it's a lot of trim. And then I taped and painted off all of the edges up there. So hopefully those are nice and crisp. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Okay, just wanted to give you an update of where we're at. I just took down all of the tape and it looks tremendously better, except for that one spot. So I gotta get up there and fix that one spot. But um, I think I already showed you that I finished all the trim and I painted parts of the door. Um, so yeah, that all looks great. And then I did also finish this. This was literally like the worst thing that I've ever done in my whole life and I hated it. But, and I'm like, this whole little strip right here is short. But by the time I put everything back in there, it's really not gonna matter. And at least it's better than the stained white on the bottom, so. Now I'm going to work on staining this beautiful cabinet. That's really pretty much it besides 
framing out this mirror, which I'm not gonna do today, I don't think. So that is where we're at. Okay, I lied to you. I'm actually gonna work on caulking as well. So I'm gonna re-caulk down along the bottom of the baseboards and the toilet and the tub and all of that because the caulking is just old and needs to be like redone, you know what I mean? So that it looks fresh. So this will all be cleaned up. I'll show you when I'm done. You wanna make sure that you have a waterproof caulking that will make sure that you have a good waterproof seal, especially in the bathroom or the kitchen. And I only show you a little bit, but I did re-caulk the entire bathroom all around the tub and the toilet and all over the baseboards. Next, it was time to start working on the vanity. I started by taking off the cabinet doors and my original plan was to stain the cabinet. However, you'll see at the end of this video, it didn't quite turn out the way I was hoping. To stain them is a lot of work and it took a lot of sanding, but I did my best. You'll see what happens at the end. I've never really been the one who's worried. Always been the one who's keeping it cool. The kind of guy who chill while others hurt. Okay, so I had started cleaning off the uh, vanity here with the deglosser, which is this stuff right here, liquid sander deglosser, but it just was not getting it sanded down enough for staining it. So my amazing husband with his duck bill quack, quack. is sanding it down for me. Wait, now I'm smiling. Now you're smiling. <laughs> So we have the fan going with uh, masks on and the window open so it's blowing everything outside. But once we get this done, then I will sand this. He's going to take the cabinets downstairs because you have to use, or are you going to do them in here? Damn, you're going to have to do them downstairs because I'm going oh, to I'm gonna start staining while he's working on the doors. So onward we go. Thinking about myself and myself only. I've been like that since I was a kid. It's not funny that you almost just fell. <laughs> <laughs> you just slipped on the super slippery floor. Okay, I'm real, real close to this cabinet, so I'm gonna try to show you what I'm working with here. But I am working on staining it right now. This is my third coat. I'm not sure. It's gonna take me a lot of coats, but. Danny just took the door, so I can't show you what it looked like before, but it looks really pretty. I want it nice and dark, so I just gotta keep going. So, might take a couple coats, but we're gonna keep working. Here's the thing when you're staining. If you can, you should wear gloves. I don't have any gloves right now. So you put it on and then you let it sit and then you wipe it off. So I put it on with a brush, which I'm about to show you. Most people put it on with a rag. It's just up to you. I prefer to just brush it on. I let it sit for a minute or two and then I wipe it off. This is my third coat so far. So I'm gonna let that one dry and I'm gonna come over here and do this front and I'll show you what I do from start to finish.
Hello my friends, okay I am back. It is days later um, because I needed to just get off the camera and get some things done. Um, but I finished and we're ready to put the decorations up. I bought some new things. I wanna show you what I finished up with the cabinet though. Last time I saw you I was talking about staining it and I did and I let it dry and I hated it. So I ended up painting it. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be putting up and the stuff I just bought from Target. And of course, please don't mind the echo because I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> um, but here is the final look at the cabinet. I had painted it, or I'm sorry, stained it walnut. I didn't like the way it turned out because the cabinet was originally like a red oak. This is similar to what it was before, much lighter, but I haven't done the inside of the cabinet yet, but um, that's how it turns out. I think it really looks great. It just brightens up the space, looks really nice with the countertop. And let me show you what I'm gonna be putting back up. So I'm gonna put this sign that I got at Walmart, I'm sorry, that I got Hobby Lobby back up on this wall right here. And then I'm leaving the shower curtain. That's not coming down because I love it. That's from Kohl's years and years and years ago. And then this sign that used to be downstairs is gonna go up here above the towel rack, which I meant to buy a couple new towels, but I didn't. So that's gonna be my next purchase. And then I did buy a couple of new rugs. This is for in front of the sink. That's for in front of the shower. I did buy a new trash can. The other one they had was really big and it used to go right here, but I decided to put to get a hamper to put right there because everybody uses this bathroom, all the kids, and so it would just be better if they had a hamper. So everything looks super refreshed. I cleaned those blinds. Like everything just looks so good. I painted the door. I painted the trim. I recocked everything so it's nice and fresh. I recocked the sink. Like it looks so good. Oh, hold on one second. The only other thing that we're talking about doing is framing out this uh, mirror with some wood pieces that I would stain that pretty walnut just to bring in some warmth. I don't know, or they'd be white. I'm not sure yet, so. Oh, and then this is a bow holder that I purchased probably 10 years ago from Hobby Lobby. And that is gonna go back up here. So holds all of her bones that she wears to dance and everything. So let's go ahead and get to putting the stuff back out. To hang the sign above the towel rack, I used an old trick that I use all the time, and that is to use some washi tape to mark where the holes are, and then to put the washi tape on the wall, and to go ahead and nail nails in, and then hang the picture. Now, normally I would use a leveler, but I did just eyeball it, and it worked out perfectly fine, surprisingly. And I am seriously obsessed with how this turned out. It's as if this painting was made to be in this room. The colors match the shower curtain so well, and they're kind of in that order. <laughs> and then we've had this bow holder from Hobby Lobby forever, and Michaela uses it to hold all of her bows that she wears to dance. And then finally, I just wanted to get the bathroom kind of cleaned back up. There was a little bit of dust and such on the vanity so I just wanted to get that cleaned up I put her toothbrush back out on the counter and then we were good to go then I wanted to go ahead and do under the cabinet now I did take out that lining it just wasn't sticking very well and I just imagined it becoming a really big issue so I took it out I put in this plastic 
organizer and I put in all of her that you see me putting in there is the medicine that she uses for her face every night and I put in all of her bath bombs and her bath goodies and then I put her curling wands and straightening iron and then I added in that top basket where she keeps all of her uh, face wash and deodorant and her makeup and such the things in the back are what she uses for dance and then it was nice and organized Okay, here it is all put back together. I've got the bows back up. I've got the sign. I've got the adorable sign over here. Put the trash can over there, it's hidden. And then of course we've got the hamper and I put down the rugs. It looks so good. If you're curious, the color on there is um, ballet white by bear it's the same color as the rest of the white in our house and I did order two gold knobs to put on there so they're supposed to be here on Saturday so once they arrive I'll go ahead and add them you can follow me on Instagram I'll post an updated picture and that is it my friends I hope that you enjoyed this adorable bathroom makeover and of course, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to come back for more. And if you enjoyed this type of video, this renovation type of video, uh, room makeover, let me know down below. Um, I was thinking about uh, freshening up, kind of updating our um, playroom, which is right outside here. So if you like this type of video, let me know and I'd be happy to get more up on the channel. And until the next one, I hope you guys are healthy and happy and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better, so much better If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you